everyone and welcome to another vlog. You must be thinking right now, geez, Mariana's voice is really gone, she sounds totally different. And that's partially true. Mariana's voice has gone too much for these vlogs, so that's why I'm taking over. You're gonna have to deal with me for this vlog and maybe the next vlog as well, depending on how Mariana's voice is behaving. Uh, so join me and let's see what the team is up to right now. But first, we're gonna look at Mariana going to the whole site, as we kind of teased in the last vlog already. And she's gonna ask some questions to other teams and see how they are doing. <laughs> Super cool, how's it going? Great. I'm interviewing you at the moment. Ah, okay. <laughs> After our amazing. first glass panel is set, oh, we are shit. a little bit relieved now. Nice. Yeah. Super cool. Nice. Two more to go for today. Two more to go, <laughs> and then the day's over. Uh, more or less. <laughs> nice. Hey, neighbor. Hi, how's it going? It's going well. Yeah, you have a second floor. Yep, we're in the second Damn. floor. Actually. I was wondering today. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know because I was like, oh, maybe there's a second floor, maybe not. Yeah, you go deeply high. <laughs> yeah, we, of course we're deeply high. We should go high. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm interviewing also in a vlog, I and I think what is I really cool is that you guys have a team with the two countries together. Yes. How is that? It's a perfect. Actually, I don't know. Do you know the story? We met in the another Solar Decathlon competition in the Solar Decathlon Africa. We were neighbors, like you and us. Yeah. <laughs> We were a Turkish team and the German team in there. We had a really great connection and we realized that we have the same future vision. And we decided to participate next Solar Decathlon together. And I hope this one will also create this, this kind of opportunity for other teams. It's yeah, I hope so experience. too. Yeah, that's super cool. Right? Nice, nice. Really cool. Well, yep. good luck. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really curious to see what's, uh, what's coming <laughs> forward. And maybe, was, maybe something will happen as neighbors. Yep, yep, maybe. We'll see. Maybe. Why not? Nice. So, I, good luck to you. You too. High yeah. five. We'll, we'll go forward to see how the rest is. See you. See ya. With two of the OG architects, they've been in the team since the beginning. I mean, they have been in the team since the beginning. And um, can you tell me, what is this shape that I keep seeing? It's the tessellation shape. Um, and it's, it starts as a very simple form, a rep repetitive form, really. And you can see it on all scales of the building. You can see it in the floor plan. You can see it in the forms of the loose elements. And you can see it in some of the detailing. Yeah. Uh, and the shape, it's the very first shape was inspired by a painting by Escher in which all the uh, geometric shapes, they slowly transform into a building and we found that very inspiring that it uh, can also be geometric patterns which create buildings and not just squares or uh, rectangles which we are more used to. Um, but we didn't want to go too crazy so it's still uh, buildable and uh, affordable. Uh, so we went with this tessellated shape. Uh, so they can be rotated and clicked against each other and stacked upon each other and then you get, can get more buildings than this as well. He's one of the architects that were, was mainly involved in uh, making the making of the solar panels and the design. So Noah, what can you tell me about why are the solar panels shaped this way? Well, the shape of the solar panels are actually very interesting. Um, so we made a sort of irregular shape, which is almost unique for each panel. Um, and if you look from the side, it sort of creates a ripple-like wave which is really nice because of course it corresponds to our name um, but it also has two other main advantages it's customizable so we have a lot of different sorts of panels to get not a very boring facade but a very interesting one with different patterns um, and the back side where the solar cells are actually 
fabricated into the panels um, by Chameleon uh, with the, the nice glazing with the print of Steinfort, uh, you can see that the solar cells are actually in a rectangle behind it. Um, and those rectangles are the same for each of the panels. So for the customization, you have a lot of free space in the shape of the glazing. Um, but for the process of making the solar panels in the factory, it's actually a very repetitive task. Um, so it's a nice balance between actually the, the, yeah, the customization and the prefab, uh, yeah, how do you say it, mass factorization. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, uh, the, all these shapes, they are sort of in the, in the same angle as the tessellation that we use for the floor plan. So it's, it's a bit like the odd shape that you want to have returning in all the different elements on different yeah. scales of detail um, to create more customization, but also to create a very interesting looking facade. Okay. And um, uh, you already uh, briefly mentioned it, but uh, there's something special about these solar panels. Can you tell me more about that? Is we have a PVT system behind it. Uh, which is in collaboration with AFS, AFS Solar. And what they did is they uh, allowed us to cool the panels by running water behind it uh, and heating up the water, which is a very nice uh, mutualistic effect. Mm -hmm. So you actually have the solar panels being better in their operation because they have a lower um, yeah, temperature, mm -hmm. um, so they generate more. And the water, of course, is warm, so you need less energy to heat your water uh, later on when you're taking a nice shower. All right, thank you very much, and uh, I hope to see when the once they're all on the final product. Definitely, nice. Yeah. Love you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs>